Hey friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck. Today's iced tea glass is Aquaman. He ain't got no theme song, Aquaman. I'm just doing the Super Friends theme, but you know, Aquaman, he gets a bad rap. I don't know, if you, have you guys seen that episode of, of The Big Bang Theory? It's the episode where Raj dresses up as Aquaman, and he's got, he's got the uh, seahorse as part of the costume. Oh my god, that was so funny. It was hilarious. Just the fact that he's got the seahorse with his little like legs hanging over the side of it. Oh my god, it was so funny. Uh, it was when the the, uh, the whole gang tried to dress up as the Justice League. Scene. I, I can't get that out of my head. Just Raj alone. <laughs> now see, see the memory. Raj alone as Aquaman. It's just, it's just... Okay, focus. This isn't about the Big Bang Theory, but that was a great episode. Anyway, today's episode it's a very special episode because we are going to deal with things that I've already done. They've already been customed. So, conveniently, this episode is titled ABC. Already been customized. That's right. Uh, before I decided to start doing these things on this channel, I'd already customized a few of my titles. So today I'm just going to show off a few of those after they've already been customized, just to show you how they look. So, let's start with the first title. Here we go with Elf. Check it out. There it is. A Will Ferrell classic. Who knew? He would go on to just crush it in comedies like this and, and make this uh, like a staple at Christmas time. But when this was initially released uh, on DVD, it was an Infinity film, which meant that they always did a lot extra love to the release of that film. So the cases were nice and had an opening flap. And uh, I've since let that go, so I can't show it to you. But... Uh, I've incorporated a lot of the Infinity Film information in this case. So, when you open it up, here is the insert that was there. I'll just take this out real quick and show you. So this is what was in there. Uh, and then I had to sort of cut it here uh, and on the other side. And then line the two up and then retape them together so it would fit inside the Blu-ray. And then also, if you look inside, let me take the, uh, let me take the disc out for you. There we go. You can see the Infinity Film cover. That's the cover that was on there. And then there is the back cover uh, telling you all about the Infinity Film information that's on those DVDs. So this was definitely worth keeping and consolidating and turning into a nice custom. There you go. If you guys have not seen Elf, you owe it to yourself. It's very, very funny. Love that film. So there you go. It's a Christmas staple. There you go. Elf. So that's one right there. The next one I did was... Trading Places they had this nice new uh, 35th anniversary release that had some, some pretty good bonus features that were not on the original DVD. Um, but as you can see here, I did like the insert from the DVD, which is right there. And there's the original DVD that was in that set. So I kept that. And then, uh, so there's the insert artwork there and the chapter stop on that side. So this was a, a nice little saver. Now this is the one I forgot to keep the insert and cut it and put it in the reverse. You know sometimes you're just moving so fast you think you have everything and then you forget that one little thing. So, um, But you know what I might do is just uh, find the cover online and then just download, print it, and then insert it. Probably won't look as super fresh and sharp but it'll be good enough for the inside of the Blu-ray case. All right. Now here's another one. It didn't have a ton of bonus features, but it's Clue, based on the popular board game. Uh, a very fun movie. When this came out in the theaters, uh, the most interesting aspect of it is it had three different releases. So depending on where you saw it, you got a different ending. So uh, on the DVD, they compiled it as though it could be this. And then it goes, or... And then they start the second one, but it was this. And then they, they give you the third ending as potentially the real ending. But they do include all three endings, which is very funny. Um, for, for the bonus feature, it says three surprise endings. That's not a bonus feature. That's actually how it was released on video. With the three, it, come on, it's not a bonus feature. Uh, the other little catch here, on the DVD, it had the trailer. But it does not have the trailer on the Blu-ray. Like nothing. Why is there nothing on this Blu-ray? I mean, this is a super fun film. Um, here you can even see on the inside cover there, 
right around in there, you can kind of see if I get close enough. It does say theatrical trailer. So on the DVD, it did contain the trailer. I mean, there's so much space on a Blu-ray. Why did you not just go ahead and pop it on there, y'all? So that is Clue. Excellent film. Now this one is not for everybody, but I was, I don't know, I was a big fan of Dice when he came out. So you get yourself some Ford Fairlane. Uh, this is a terrible Blu-ray. It has no, I, I don't think I've seen another Blu-ray with no menu. It has zero menu. You put the disc in and it just plays. That's saying, well, we, uh, we know you want the film out, so here, are you happy? We did as little as we could, and I mean, the transfer is not even great, but you know, it's on Blu-ray. Uh, but it didn't have some of the stuff that was on the DVD, so I kept them both. There you go. So there's, there's my Ford Fairlane combo. So I'm going to grab the insert here for you, all right, and we're going to just read to you what is on here. So it says on the side A of the, uh, the DVD, because remember they did the two-sided thing? It's a commentary with Rennie Harlan and the music video Cradle of Love by Billy Idol. I mean, that's a nice little bonus feature. And then the second side, which is the widescreen version, has the commentary by Rennie Harlan and a small making of featurette. I mean, that's a pretty good deal for, you know, a DVD. They didn't have much to it. Now let's read to you the, uh, the bonus features that's on the back of the Blu-ray. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no bonus features on the back of this Blu-ray, so I can't read them to you. So there you go. That, that's why I kept the DVD, because it literally has something, and the Blu-ray has nothing. All right, so here's the next one, y'all. Young Frankenstein, a classic Gene Wilder and Mel Brooks film. Um, just so good. Tons of great bonus features on there. A lot of those are probably on the VHS as well. Let me show you the inside insert here. All right, so there, there that is. And you can see the bonus features down here, right there. I'm gonna read them off to you. So you got the, um, the documentary, trailers, TV spots, deleted scenes, interviews, outtakes, and production photographs. So all that is on the, uh, the DVD, which is not a bad deal. And on the back of the, the Blu-ray, we have the special features that are commentary by Mel Brooks. So already that's something that wasn't on the DVD. So that's cool. Inside the lab, it's a secret formulas in the making of Young Frankenstein. The Franken track, a monstrous conglomeration of trivia. Blucher button, you know, Val Blucher. Val <laughs> Blucher. It's alive, creating a monster classic. Featurette, Transylvanian lullaby, the music of John Morris, the making of Young Frankenstein featurette. And then of course you have the outtakes, isolated score track, also not on the DVD. Interviews with Marty Feldman, Gene Wilder, Cloris Leachman, deleted scenes, and the photo gallery. So some of it's definitely carried over from the DVD, but you know, it makes for a nice custom set for a classic comedy. Next up is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. All right, guys, another fantastic John Hughes film uh, starring Matthew Broderick. I mean, just like the edition says, Bueller, Bueller. Bueller, Bueller. But lots of good bonus features on the Blu-ray. Uh, but there was definitely some good stuff from that bonus set DVD that didn't all quite port over onto the Blu-ray. Uh, this is another one. Urgh. I didn't keep the original artwork to insert behind it, which I kind of wish I would have. You know, this was in my early stages and I wasn't quite sure of all the things I wanted to keep and let go. But on the inside, so you can tell there's no, no inner artwork. Her! But you know, I think I'll just download the cover like I will for some of the, and just, I'll have it. So it'll be there. Um, but this is what I kept, is the insert inside with the chapter stops. But this is what I did do with the artwork that was on the back. This was part of the, the insert artwork. I just cut the rest off and made it a second insert. And so it has the um, contents of the disc here. So this is now an insert, but it did used to be a cover. So, so there you go. A nice Ferris Bueller's Day Off set. I, I watched a lot of this bonus stuff recently. It was so good. Now, speaking of classic comedies, I'm going to save this one for last. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. This is a fantastic Blu-ray. I know there's a Criterion coming out, or it could be out right now. But, um, I mean, this is... 
I don't know what could be in that criterion that's really going to blow me away that's better than all the stuff that's come out before. So on the back here you'll see uh, some good bonus features here on the Blu-ray. Definitely worth picking that up. And I got this for $5, y'all. It was on like super sale. So what a good deal. But the DVD was really good too. It, it uh, here, let me just show you the inside. So here's the insert. Hey bud, let's party. <laughs> All right. So obviously, yeah, sliced up some of the words, but you know, got the front, got the chapter stops. That's good. But the DVD itself, if you look through here to the back, you'll see this is uh, all the stuff that's on the DVD. There's definitely stuff that's on here that's really neat. They went back to some of the locations, the mall that's no longer there. Now let's go over some of the uh, the bonus features. First on the Blu-ray we have Reliving Our Fast Times at Ridgemont High, a hilarious documentary featuring the interviews with the cast and crew. Feature commentary with director Amy Heckerling and the screenwriter Cameron Crowe and a theatrical trailer. So there's not a super ton on the Blu-ray, but boy when this DVD came out. So on the inside here I kept that. Uh, see, I did it for this one, but I forgot for Ferris, and I made these at the exact same time. Where was my head? Uh, anywho, let me show you what was in the, the DVD. We have feature commentary with director Amy Heckerling and screenwriter Cameron Crowe, so that's the same. Reliving Fast Times at Ridgemont High documentary, that's the same. Then you also have production notes, casting filmmakers, theatrical trailer, and then here's two things that weren't on the Blu-ray, which is the Hangouts of Ridgemont High. It's like a video map and the music highlights. So those are definitely some unique things to that DVD I did not want to lose because it's kind of fun to go and see those hangouts that are no longer there. Like the mall that they uh, shot it in is gone. So that happens sometimes. So there you go. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Here we go. And I think these guys turned out pretty good. So there you go. There it is. Big up. Look at it. Big up. Just bite into that thing, you know, like a, I ain't gonna say no meatball sub. I'm gonna say a, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sam I, I'm hung up on sandwiches. Can you tell? I'm like Joey from Friends. I love sandwiches. All right, so there they are, guys. One last look. There's all the titles. It's a good collection of comedies right there. All right, guys, that's it. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please do me a big favor and hit that like and subscribe and bang that bell so you get notified when I put up the next video. And also, uh, come on over to the Facebook page. It's really getting up traction. Got a couple of fans uh, appearing over there, sharing some of their custom photos of stuff they've done. It's really, it's really neat to see what you guys have been doing. So come on over there. I'll leave links to everything down below, uh, including these cases. Again, I use the Viva Elite cases that really do a good job. So I'll leave links for those and the Facebook page and everything down below so you guys can check it out in the details. All right. In the meantime, guys, I will catch you later.